Hello there and welcome. I'm Ole Brugger and if you're new here and you like my creations, I really hope I'll earn your subscription today. The mysterious box has arrived and I've been waiting for this for over a month. I had plans with this. I hope you don't get disappointed because it's not that interesting, but it's very important for this project. We're going to build a beach, uh, so it can be for a part of an island or a bigger setup with some ruins and stuff like that. But for now, we're just building the beach with something in this box. So why don't we get started? Okay, let's start with this mysterious box. What is inside? Yeah, it is palm trees. I found them in an online store and they were pretty cheap. Uh, I also found the same stuff on AliExpress. I will leave both links in the description below. They are made out of plastic and it was just easier to get these palm trees than to print them out. There are various sizes in this box, so let's have a look at it. 10 pieces of 9 cm trees. I think this is the smallest trees. These are 5 cm. And then we have some 12 cm tall trees. 10 of those as well. And this is the tallest ones. They are 16 cm tall. I really like those. And finally we have some 7 cm tall trees. I think all the sizes are good. But the smallest trees, which are 5 and 7 cm tall, I don't think I'm gonna use those for this project, but of course I will save them for later use. The quality of these trees are okay, but there are some leftovers from the castings and the trees have a bit glossy effect. I had to clean everything up and then I'm going to paint it. I have this piece of scrap foam and in the bottom of the trees there's this pointy end and it was pretty easy just to put them in the foam. The base primer will be this matte black from the Army Painter. It's in a rattle can and it has gases, so I use a respirator and I ventilated my room very good. I sprayed the black from the bottom up and then I used some white primer, also from the Army Painter, and made a centerfold highlight from the top. On the trunk of the tree I will use this dark wood in my airbrush. Speed Paints works pretty well in an airbrush. I will paint all the trees, even the sizes I'm not going to use for this project, then they are ready for the next project. For the leaves I will use this shamrock green, which is also a speed paint. I really love this color, it has so much vibrance to it. I will use this orc skin for the underside of the leaves. It's a bit more opaque, so it can cover the black from the spray primer. To put on some more highlights on the trunk I'll use this leather brown and just dry brush it on. To give it a final highlight, I will use this Karen Effects, and this will be dry brushed on as well. And now to the beach tiles. I'll cut up 16 tiles that are 6 by 6 inches, and I ran out of foam. Unfortunately, the sheets of the Army Painter foam is not big enough to make 4 tiles that are 6 by 6 inches, so I had to be creative and use these toothpicks, some leftover foam, put it together and cut up some new tiles. I smoothed out the seams with some sandpaper. 16 tiles are cut, but first I have to vacuum everything from the dust of the sandpaper. I wanted to use this angle jig from Shifting Lands to make some slopes on the tiles, but a 6 inch high tile is actually too tall for the Proxon, so I had to find another way. I adjusted the cutting wire on my Proxon from a 90 degree angle to an 85 degree angle. And then I could cut some nice slopes on 8 of my tiles. And on 4 of my tiles I cut 2 slopes so they could act as a corner on maybe an island. I accidentally started my cam in a time lapse mode, but this is me cutting a grid into all my tiles. On these tiles I will not use Mud Podge. I'll use AK Dry Ground, but I will thin it down with some water. I think this texture paint will just protect the foam enough, so that is why I'm not using the Mud Podge. And while these tiles are drying, I'll go to my workshop. I have this 3mm MDF and I will cut up 10 tiles that are 4 inch by 4 inch as bases for the palm trees. And on my bandsaw I will cut them into some random shapes. 
Then I will drill some random holes on my drill press. This is to make it easier to put in the pointy end from the palm trees. And then I will use my belt sander to smooth all the edges. I will paint them the same way as the tiles. I use the dry ground. And while they're drying up, I use this Israeli sand and dry brush it on all the tiles. To brighten it up a bit more, I use this flesh tone. This is just an ordinary craft paint. I finished up using this bleached bone in my airbrush on all the slopes just to make it look like bright white sand. And then the bases for the palm trees were dried up. I could give them the exact same treatment except for the airbrush with bleached bone. Now it's time for putting in all the palm trees. I can easily put the pointy end through all the holes. I will use this very thin and runny super glue because it can get into all the recesses and then I'll use some activator. And after a few seconds I can snap off the pointy end. Now I just have to do this on all the 10 bases. I'll use my rotary tool with some sandpaper to smooth out the bottom of the bases. I think the bases will need some more decorations and here I will use some tufts. This is my own homemade tuft and I will use a lot of other stuff, stones, gravel, flocking and so on. First some PVA glue with a brush and then some train track gravel. I really like these grey stones. Then some branches and leaves. Some tufts. And then I will just spray it with some PVA glue. This is PVA glue thinned down with water 50-50%. And while the bases are drying up, I'll make a dock for the beach. We need some coffee stir sticks. I have this walnut. This is 3 by 5 millimeters. And then I have some pine wood. This is 5 by 5. I'll cut up the 5 by 5 into some 2 centimeter length. This is for the poles for the dock. I'll put in some car rings just to make them look a bit old and uneven. I will cut up the walnut pieces for 9 inches, so it will still fit into my tile system. And I will cut a matching angle for the slopes on the beach. I have laid up the poles for one side on the table, and I will use some super glue and activator to mount the beams. And then I will mirror the process for the opposite side of the dock. And then I will use some more super glue to put on the planks for the dock. Then I will paint it with some dark wood speed paint from the army painter. And for the poles near the waterline, I will use this junk green just to give it a algae mossy effect. And to give it some highlights, I'll use the skeleton bone with a dry brush. And we are done. I'm pretty excited about this. I think it turned out pretty good. I spent about a week building this, but I was also only working in the evenings for maybe one or two hours at a time. But I think it turned out pretty good. With a little effort, I think I could have managed to build this in one day. Let's see how this will look in a playable scenario. Thank you so much for watching this till the end. I really appreciate you being here. If you are not subscribed already, please do so because in my next video, we're going to build something that will accompany this setup. So uh, stay tuned. Goodbye for now.